Hi everyone, I'm Luca, one of the co-creators of WIC, the internet's free and open source multimedia creation suite. And today, I'm going to show you how to get started making cool stuff for the internet. So we're going to be combining an image, a little bit of logic, and a little bit of programming to make our first project. The first thing we need to do when creating our project is go to wiceditor.com. Then, we're going to click on the Launch Editor tab. Next, we can start adding in some images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my desktop and drag in an image of the Wick ghost. And there we go. We've got our first project. If we go to the top bar, we can click the Run button. And there it is, our first Wick project. But it's really not that interesting. It's just a single image. So how can we make this more exciting? Well, everyone knows that ghosts are spooky. So why don't we make the Wick ghost say Boo? If we go back to the editor, we can start changing our project and making it look a little bit more interesting. First, I'm going to select the Wick ghost. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, maybe put it in the center of the screen, rotate it a bit, and there we go. We've got our Wick ghost nice and in the center. Then I'm going to copy it using Command C or Control C. I'm going to click on the second frame in my timeline up at the top here. And then I'm going to hit Command V or Control V to paste it in. And so now we've got a two frame animation, but both frames are the same. So why don't we add in a little bit of text? Here's my toolbar on the left side. I'm going to click on text, click on the canvas and add in a text box, and then change my text to say boo. And there we go. And so if I click run here, it doesn't look quite right. The player is just playing all of the frames on the timeline really, really fast. We need to tell the player to wait on the first frame until we do something interesting and then go to the second frame. So how are we going to do that? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is go back to my editor and click on my first frame. And then I'm going to go to my frame options in the top right and say, always stop on this frame. And so you'll notice my timeline gets highlighted with a nice little red box. And if I run my project, you'll see there's no more flashing. It's stopped on frame one. And so now I'm going to convert my ghost on frame one into a symbol. And so now what's special about symbols is I can add code to them. So I'm going to click on the little code braces here. And I open up my code editor. And so you'll see we've got four tabs up here. Set up this code, the code that's in this box is going to get run at the very beginning of the project. Update the code in this box is going to get run every single frame of my project. Click is going to get run whenever this object is pressed uh, by the mouse. And key pressed is going to run whenever the user hits any key. And so I'm going to add a click script. And that click script is going to say, OK, whenever someone clicks the wick ghost, I want to go to and stop on frame two. And so now, let's close our code editor and run the project again. We're stopped on frame one, but I can click on the ghost and boo, there it is. And so there you go, you've got your first interactive WIC project. So now how can we save our project? Well, we've got a couple of options here, but the easiest is if we go to the file tab on top, and we export it as a web page. Now we can download our project as a single file, and it'll just work all the same. If you click on it, it'll open up in a browser and work just the same. And there we go. Uh, that's your first WIC project. Isn't that awesome? So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out wiceditor.com for more documentation, reference material, and demos. And let us know what kinds of tutorials you'd like to see next. Bye.